on the family of tech and today I'm going to be showing you one of the most useful menu settings that I frequently use for when I shoot any type of b-roll sequence using manual focus with any of my Sony cameras. It doesn't matter what type of video you want to shoot, it could be a subject, it could be a product b-roll, it could be a real estate, it doesn't matter because it can be used in any shooting scenario that you want to get sharp videos when you're shooting in manual focus and it's also super useful in those situations that you don't want to use the autofocus feature on the camera to avoid the camera to be hunting back and forth trying to get the subject in focus something that you can potentially notice when you're adding motion to the scene or adding any type of foreground element to your shot as you can see here and i'm talking about the focus assist feature that you're going to find on menu one page 13 on your sony cameras so let's not waste any more time subscribe if you like camera filmmaking and drones and let's get on with the video so right guys, like I mentioned before, I'm talking about the focus assist feature that you're going to see on menu 1, page 13 on your Sony a7 III or even any of the new Sony APS-C cameras like the H400 or even the new A6600 that you can use whenever you want to shoot in manual mode and manual focus. Manual focus is probably how I shoot 99% of the b-roll on my YouTube channel and for me it's a feature that is extremely important for anyone to understand if you want to get more professional looking videos. For example, if you look at this B-roll sequence, even though the autofocus system on the camera is amazing, you're gonna notice that if I try to shoot here using continuous autofocus, when the camera finds an area that is either high or low contrast, or even if you have a backlit scenario, that camera will start hunting to get things in focus. And that's gonna look very unprofessional if you end up with a video like that. And that's why I think this menu setting on the camera is super important for you to know how it works. So the first thing I do before I start shooting my b-roll, once I set my camera to manual focus and decide whatever it is that I'm shooting, I go to the menu one, page 13, and make sure that manual focus assist is on, because that's gonna allow you that every time you touch the focus ring on the lens, that image in the center of the frame will get magnified and you will see your subject much better and will be able to get things in focus. The only thing that you have to keep in mind here is that it would only focus on a subject that is right in the middle of the frame. There is a second way of getting magnification, but this one gives you more flexibility. If you go to the focus magnifier option and click on that, that camera is also going to jump in on the subject and it will help you get better focus as you can see here. However, you will notice that this option gives you a focusing box in the middle of the frame that you can move around as much as you want with a function wheel. And this way you can set your focus on whatever area of the frame that you want. If you want, and what I do, you can set this focus magnifier option on the center button on the camera, and that's gonna make it more handy for you for whenever you need it. Initial focus magnification is an important setting because once you select that, the camera will jump into the one-to-one -one magnification ratio, but only if you choose a 5.8 option here. And that's exactly where you want the camera to be at one-to-one -one magnification when you're judging focus. And finally, peaking settings, which is a fast and easy way to check if you're focusing on the right area. Here you can choose picking levels, which I always use high, and the picking color, which most of the time I use red. This feature is very handy, however I have to say that it's not 100% accurate, especially if you're shooting in an area with very high contrast. You have to be careful because you might get fooled by thinking that the area is in focus, especially if you start to see a little bit of red color around your subject. However, you have to make sure that you see a lot of red colors around it to make sure that it's totally in focus. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you want to see my other Sony videos, you can click right here. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more cameras, making and drop videos. See you in the next one.